All right, so welcome to step four in lesson two, where it's now our turn to take a look at the code that they gave us just to understand some coding blocks and understand what happens with the sensor and the cuboid. And now that they're what they're doing is they're asking us to use these blocks and create a program that reacts to two different distances to the cuboid. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure this out. There are multiple ways to do this. So hopefully by now, if you're watching this, either you've been completely stuck and you're not sure what to do, or you've already done your own and you just want to see um, what I came up with. Not that mine's any better than the brilliance of you. So let's go ahead and make this happen. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with this top section of code here. Uh, okay, I think it'll be the easiest to work with as we go through. So I'm just going to keep it as a left button press. And when we press the left button, I do think that we are going to keep this part here of, well, we can just stop the other stacks. That'll be fine because I'm not going to run any, so it's actually not even really needed. So I could probably just clear this out because it's not essential for us to have. We're going to start moving straight. And what I'm going to do here um, is I think I'm going to drop over here to the control and I'm going to do a if then block. And as it's moving straight, if, let's do operator here. Mm-hmm, 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 I need to see all my code blocks here. There they are, okay. If, we're gonna do our ultrasonic sensor, so we're gonna drop over here to sensor, we're gonna find our ultrasonic panel, those are all lights, there we go. If our ultrasonic sensor in port 4 in centimeters is less than, let's make that 6, like just like we have down here. I'm not going to do a weight block because I have the if that, but I'm going to go ahead and drag these out here. But what I can do is I can repurpose some of these. And I'm going to move this over here. I can get rid of this block. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put the stop moving one so we can stop. But we're going to go to sound, and we're going to add here. So if it's less than 6, let's do this. Let's play a sound. Actually, we'll stop first so we don't crash into the cuboid. And we can click this drop-down menu and pick different noises. So I wonder if we have a, uh, let's see what we have for communication here. Good job, hello, okie dokie. Let's see. Let's see, floor left, object right. We'll go stop. It'll say stop for our, our noise. All right, then we're gonna go back to our control and we're gonna put another one in here and we're gonna do the same thing that we have in here, but we're gonna change the operator. So we're gonna go ahead and say, if it's, no, we don't want less than, we wanna do greater than. There we go. We're gonna to go to sensors again. Let's see here, let's see, where's our, there you are, there you are. Uh, well, that's infrared, we want ultrasonic, here we go. If our distance in centimeters is greater than six, we want to, uh, they don't really have like a keep moving block, but we'll just go ahead and put in here 
a start moving. We're going to start moving straight. And we're going to play another sound here. So we'll go to sound. We'll go to play sound. Let's go ahead and that. And we're going to go down and see if we can find what says forward. Let's do forward. Now, what we can do here is I'm going to get rid of this. And then I can also get rid of this. And what we want to do is a event block now. I don't want this to go forever. Um, or a control block, excuse me. So let's see what we've got for uh, for things here. There we go. So we'll do a repeat until and we're going to do operator block here. Let's see. Let's see. We want it to. Equal here. Oh. Repeat until our sensor is equal. And we'll say to six. And we can then also put a, a weight block in here so we can make sure we can hear it in our control. So we'll stop moving. We'll wait one second. And then we can get rocking and rolling. And now actually we could probably just get rid of this one too. Because now we press the button, we're going to repeat. Let's double check. We're going to repeat until we're within six centimeters. If it reaches six centimeters, it's going to stop moving. It's going to say stop. It's going to wait one second. Else, then it's going to drop down here. If it's greater than six, it's going to keep moving straight and playing the sound forward um, as we get rocking and rolling in there. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And then we can just put, when that repeat block ends, we can just stop and exit the program and we'll be done. Actually, you know, we won't even need that. Oh, let's just add it. It'll be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in and see if this works. I just did it here right live with you. So I don't even know if this is going to work. I haven't tested it. I had the pseudocode in my mind. I should have wrote it down better. And this is the stuff that, you, that you're going to be doing. Um, so I think it's important that obviously I do this journey with you. So I'm gonna, let me do this here. Here we go. I'm going to call it two beeps and a cuboid. And this is less than 2.4. Or we'll just keep it just like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and queue up this program because it won't take off on me until I hit start. Okay, so let's find out here. I'll go ahead and switch my screen around so we can see this and actually see what's going to go on here. And hopefully we have some success here on this first run. So I believe we are ready. There we go. And I have it pressed on the left button. And let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, so you can see there that we need to go ahead and kick that out because we don't want to hear stop forever. So uh, we want to go ahead and exit this program, but I don't see, let's see, let's do this. Wait one second, and then we'll stop and exit. We need to move it up there. There we go. Okay, so let's run this again here. Got to plug this back in and download it. And I think that'll keep it from just saying stop forever in a day because that's annoying. But this is good as you think about your classroom. Another coaching technique, uh, whether you're in the classroom teaching lessons or if you're working for Lego League, one of the things that we would do all the time with our kids 
is as we were writing out, this is in the old software, but it'll apply here, is we were writing out tons of code and getting really big code to achieve our, our missions. Uh, we had some pretty good teams back in the day. We would put in either code that would light up the, the panel here or noise. And so wherever we saw the glitch in our robot and performance, we could then go back and coordinate where was the last beep or noise um, so we could go back in and fix that code. So audio it plays a huge role, not just because the ultrasonic sensor is awesome, but also as checkpoints for your problem-solving process. So well, let's uh, go ahead and run that one more time so you can see here. Um, and I think what I might do, one last thing, and I'm going to set the speed real quick. I'm going to set the speed um, to go a little bit slower so we can see it better. So I'm going to go ahead and set, uh, here we are. I'm going to throw one more block in here. Set movement speed to 20%. I'm going to download this one more time. And uh, then we'll run it. And then you're off on your own for your challenge. And I want to see what you create. What is your program? How did you get the beeps going? I want to see your robot in action as well as see your code. You can load up the code file in Slack. Or you can take a screenshot, whatever works best for you. Um, and let's share all our ideas because by sharing, we can learn from one another and we can gain some new insights and strategies. So I want to make sure that's lined up. I can just tell my robot is just not straight. Here we go. So I think we're there. Let's try this now. Hopefully it's a little bit easier to see. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. Ain't that nice? Yeah, that's nice. All right, my friends. There it is. Uh, the Your turn to create a program that reacts to two different dis distances greater than six centimeters. It yells forward. When we get to six centimeters, it's saying stop. All right, my friends. I can't wait to see you work over in the Slack channel. And you know what comes next. Remember, my friends, as always, stay awesome. I'm <laughs> a